Howdy folks and welcome back. Today we're out here at the range. We're not going to be doing a lot of shooting actually, but you can see we've been doing some yard work here, cleaning up a little bit. But what we need to do is clear some of these limbs in front of that target down there so that I can actually shoot the target. If you've been following along, this is usually what I call the top of the hill. And you can see down there at the bottom, we've got a couple steel targets now. And then a little further up, we actually have a plywood backer that I can stick targets on. But as you can see, there's just a couple twigs right here in my way obstructing my view. So we're going to do a little redneck tree trimming here. And I didn't come up with this. I can't remember who did. It was either like you know Hickok or FPS Kyle or something from way back in the day but what we're gonna do is take our nice Benelli Nova here and uh, load it up with some nice homemade shells and try to clear a path so stay tuned and let's get into it so it might be hard to tell but as we're walking down the hill to try and get different angles and whatnot at our targets we have this uh, tree here kind of blocking or obstructing our view a little bit so we're gonna do a little extra yard work here and clean that up real quick. Alrighty folks, so we're here at our target and today's ammo we're gonna be using a 7 8 ounce load of number 9 shot with the CB0178 wad and about 18 grams of tight wad. We have some Federal head stamps, some Remington gut clubs, some Brownings, just some ugly, uh, some ugly ones I had when I was on the load all trying to work out that and do it. Uh, you know, we can do that, but these are for right now. So let's try them out. So we're going to start with these browning holes I was learning on, and you can see they're freaking ugly. But if we can get them to chamber, we'll go ahead and try them out on our tree here. So remember, folks, safety first. Always know what's behind, around, above, below your target. And I'm out in the middle of the sticks, so we're good here. This is a controlled range, and I'm a professional. <laughs> and so far, these are all feeding into the tube, and we had the first one cycle. So let's uh, hit some of this low-hanging fruit here. I missed the wood tree. Well, I've got the super tight, improved, whatever choke on here, so I'm not actually hitting it half the time. I could probably take that out, and this would do a much better job. Let's give that a try. I'm going to pull this choke out real quick, and we'll move on to our next shell. But surprisingly, those ugly brownings actually work. Huh. Okay, I lied. I can't get the choke out with the shell. I need the actual wrench, which is in the house, and that's too far away. But we are using these federal HOAs. Let's give it a shot. Okay, we've got a few more of these federals here. Four more, actually. And I've got a couple Remington gun clubs to play with. Okay, I've got three gun clubs left here with the same load of tight wad, but these are like three or four times fired. So let's keep firing them. Shot. 
take a step back, see if we uh, need to take anything else off, and we'll move on. Well, we definitely took some off, but we didn't get the one actually obstructing our view, so let's grab another bag of shells and get back to it. These next five were some really ugly gun clubs I had setting up the mech, but they should run, you know, pretty similar to what we need. I just need to hit the correct limb there. I am working my way up, but it's the very next one. It's the, the actual target here. Oh man, it's beautiful. I can see all the way through now and uh, we can actually shoot from a further distance now that we have that target set up and a clear line of sight. So, heck yeah, let's go take a look. Oh, that's much better, much more clear and that's awesome, perfect. Let's go back even further and I'll show you where I can get maybe 150 yards, I don't know. I can pretty much see this from my back porch, but you know, the wife's probably not gonna let me do that. But I can get to at least back here. I could set up a table, just a little fold out, and it would be flat. And I am at a slight downward angle towards the target, but this is much more uh, level or flat compared to uh, shooting down into the valley or whatnot. Anyways, I got some firewood. Working on that, been cleaning up the area here. You can see all the all the brush and stuff where I haven't cleaned. Got a couple fire pits where I've been burning all this nonsense. But heck yeah, we have a target now that I can see from a little further down. And that's what we came here to do. Alrighty guys, this was just a quick one working on the range and getting in some trigger time, but that was just a little bit of fun. I got a little mess here to clean up, some shells to gather. Thanks for hanging out guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.